Hey everyone, I got super late off work. I mean, it's almost 7 p.m. as you can see. Oh, and by the way, for once, ever since daylight savings time is uh, up and running, ever since Sunday, I hate, but I, I hate, by the way, these time switches, losing an hour in March, gaining an hour in October, I think. It's just stupid. They should really get rid of these daylight saving times. I mean, Asia doesn't have it. And whenever I was in Korea or Japan, I really liked the fact that it got dark at 6 p.m. Or was it already 5 p.m.? It's just, it feels more natural to me, but random tension, sorry. Let's check out the team. We are on a dark team, obviously, with, when using Venera. So let's check it out. Mastermind's on, passive provoke evasion. Gave him safety bit, oh, because the boss technically has a death attack. I have no idea when he's using it, but better safe than sorry. And uh, the whole team has 80% fire resistance and 90% light resistance before buffs. We're gonna buff 80% fire, 70% light, so we can ignore all mechanics the boss throws at us. All right, next up, Bards. He um, will just do some DPS. He's got 80 fire, 100 light. He's got 255 human killer, couldn't fit uh, one more on him, sadly. Uh, these are the abilities, as you can see. Oh, 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 and by the way, you might have already realized this is omega expensive, um, the whole build. So, yeah, keep this in mind. And he's using Sora's vision card. Brave Shift, exactly the same. We're gonna start in his Brave Shift 2, so we can gain Raging Winds to do the Chain Score mission, etc, etc. Venera, a uh, base form, we have to LB sadly in her base form, just because uh, it's impossible to fit in the Amplification, the 300 LB buff, and the 90% uh, defense break. So there is always something not going according to plan and this time it's the 300% LB boost which lasts only one turn so too bad it's either or with her now next up oh no by the way these are the abilities she's using her own STMR etc her own vision card and the brave shift is exactly the same and she's also start starting in her brave shift Next up, Edgar, the usual resistances, base form really doesn't matter, to be honest. Uh, you don't need broom, of course, I, I was just too late to put it off. And the Brave Shift, now in the Brave Shift, we are banking on the fact that the boss is not using a light effect on turn two. Because he has negative resistance. So he will get hit. Um, the light attack is physical though. We're gonna have one stack of Mirage, but there is a possibility that the boss uses the light attack, it's an AoE attack, um, twice. Meaning the first one gets eaten by Mirage, but the second one is going to hit Edgar, which is unfortunate. Just reset in that case. I have had it out of the five attempts or six attempts I did, I had it happen once. So, it happens. Other than that, super strong gear as you can see, still using last gen's card. And uh, yeah, 70, 750 LB, uh, not LB, jump damage, 300 human. Now, considering all this, I might even skip Knight's Medal, but um, that's gonna ask for too much. I feel like I really need the 30% fire resistance or else I'm just gonna be in trouble. And uh, I mean, Knight's Medal isn't that all bad. There's no real other equipment piece that is uh, as good. I mean, I could use Dragon's Crest. I could use Dragon's Crest. Yeah, let's use Dragon's Crest. It's more DPS. Um, but that's all about it, right? There's nothing else you can do uh, to boost his DPS even more. So yeah, 300 human, 750 uh, jump damage. And that's all there is. Uh, next up, Cleo Star. Uh, base form doesn't really matter, other than the resistances. 
They're gonna power up a little bit. Make sure to equip 10,000 needles. You're gonna use that the first two turns on them, if you're following my strat, that is. They're using a Neo Vision Light, no, X Stars uh, Vision card. Now, what is possible for the Brave Shift, and I can't fit it in, sadly, is that you use Lightning's Super Trust Master. It'd be ideal to use it, but it just doesn't fit in. Having to go for a 160 um, light resistance, it's just not working out. It would increase damage significantly, but I just can't fit it in. I mean, I'm gonna try it for this attempt and see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna make a cut anyway, but don't do this um, unless I write it in the comments that this is safe to use. Um, but I'm very sure that this is not going to work. And if it does, it's going to be the best strat you're gonna ever see, I guess. I mean, I could technically swap out Lucid Lenses, but that's gonna cost a lot of damage, so that's not. That's pretty much all there is to them. And lastly, we've got last gen resistances as per usual. Base form really doesn't matter, Riku's vision card, etc, etc. And the Brave Shift, uh, also for a lot of human killing. He's got 300, 300, just as everyone else, or mostly everyone else. And yeah. This is the gear, these are the abilities, and the vision card, and that's the team. And I got to 9.8 billion. I'm gonna make a cut now, and you're gonna see the attempt before I made the change. Um, if it's not capping, if it's not capping, you're gonna see the attempt uh, with the without Lightning's STMR. If you see me capping, I equipped Lightning's STMR. As easy as that. So have fun with the kill either way. All right, so if you're watching this video, um, you're gonna see the attempt with Lightning's STMR, New Vision Lightning's STMR. Mastermind Zorn is going to use Divine Castle's protection. Bards is going to triple, job gained two, raging winds, last doesn't matter really. You, if you want to, you can use Blessed Wind Crystal. I'm just going to personal flavor. We're not going to use Wind Attacks at the end of things, but whatever. Uh, Venera is going to buff Irega. King Edgar is going to triple. Uh, Dignified, Bravo, Awkward. Cleo Star, 10,000 Needles. Last Gen is going to fill LB Gauge for Cleo Star, hopefully. Perfect, we got three drops on them. Right, let's hope for less than two attacks on... Oh, we didn't even get a single one, perfect. Uh, light attacks, I was talking about here. And now comes the tricky part where the boss should hope, or hopefully doesn't do any light attacks because Edgar has to brave shift an LB. While, um... And the reason why we can't do this, for whatever reason, if you're using Shadow Serpent on turn 2, the buff, the amplification turn, is going to be gone by the time it's turn 5. From my point of view, this should last until turn 5, but it, turn 4 is the last one. So, I think it's stupid, so we have to wait one more turn with um, Venera to boost stuff. And also give us 4 stacks of Mirage, which is the other thing that's um, annoying. Anyway, we're gonna Umbral Dagger, we're gonna Snipe Dagger twice, Extra Cleo, 10,000, Mastermind Zorn and Barretts are going to do the Chaining Mission for us now. We do have that off turn. Come on. Last Gen is just going to God. So let's hope for no light attacks, or at least no more than one. That was number one. Okay, we're good, perfect. 
So now, Venera is going to Triple Assassins, Shadow Serpent, um, Heavenly Blade, that's a 300% stuff. No, I shouldn't use Heavenly Blade, right? Because that's what I gotta use later on. Yes, exactly. Alright, uh, it's fine though. Um, Shadow Serpent for the uh, amplification. Snipe Dagger. And now Edgar can go up into the air. Once all of this is done, perfect. Axtar and Cleo will um, Brave Shift. Triple Swords Symphony. Or, no, 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 no. Actually, it doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter. So, let's Triple Sword Symphony, uh, Spirit Sonata, Assassin's Dance, and um, Dark Melodia. Mastermind Zorn is going to Reflector, Element on Cleo Star, Critical on Cleo Star, and Mystical. Let's wait for all of this to finish. Bards is going to triple. Bards can shift back already. Um, triple. Job level 3. Fragments. And. Um, one more thing. Dual spellblade, right? That should be two turns. Yes. Doesn't matter, we're gonna have to use Master next turn, so we can't. Let's use Courage Choose Adversity. Let's make sure X, uh, Cleo Star have an imbue, adds Dark Element. Correct, correct, correct. Good. And last gen, just Guards. Always AFK, the two of them. Alright, so we got ruined, but that's gonna be fine, hopefully. Mastermind Zone is now going to spread. Yep. But before we do that, let's have Venera shift back. She's gonna use Heavenly Blade for her own 100% LB buff. Fill LB gauge, etc. etc. Marauders for the 90% break and snipe dagger. Meanwhile, Bards is going to drop mastered, um, dual spell blade, and heaven wind blade. Doesn't matter, the, the order is not of importance. Cleo star, snowstorm, dark, melodia, pitch black. Last gen complete awakening. Venera now does her stuff. And Zorn shares. Let's hope Cleo Star don't take damage. They didn't. Okay. Looking fabulous. Alright, let's um hopefully cap. That'd be cool. So Mastermind Zone, Triple Absolute Mirror of Equity. Bards is going to Triple Absolute Mirror of Equity, Brave Blade. Venera is going to LB. Cleosar is going to LB. Last Gen shifts in LBs. And let's hope I don't mess this up. So you have to start with Axe and Cleom. They take a while to unwind anyway. You also have to start with Venera. And after that, you send in the Chainers. So let me check, it's S and E. Ooh. That's uh, very awkward to uh, to do. So let's move this in. All right, so we're gonna start with Axtar and send in. Okay. All right, let's see that we cap. Please be 10 billion. We capped, perfect score, woo. Awesome, so that worked.
Wait, I thought this was a perfect score. I think it is. I think it is. It should be. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to read the patch notes on that. Uh, let's let's read the patch notes. But I believe this is a perfect score. Um, dark visions. Where is it? Oh, dark visions over here. Um, I I know I've read somewhere down here that ten billion minus one is the new cap. So. Uh, oh, it was it not here? Oh yeah, there it is. A maximum. Oh yeah, we got the maximum score. Perfect. All right. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, it is entirely possible to get this fight out. And um, now, some of you you might not have Cleo Star, for example, right? I'm at this very moment in time. I'm super happy. I actually pulled them. Um, if you don't have Cleo Star, you can use. Tifa, you're gonna deal a little bit less damage, but it should work as well. If you don't have Bards, you can use Gilgamesh. It is this is a very well STMR heavy comp, as you can see. Using Gilgamesh instead of Bards is a good op a good substitution, just because um, Gilgamesh needs his weapon, and I don't have it. I, I can craft it, but I don't have the um, insignias. I'm, I'm just a lazy type. So I don't want to farm his insignia. So as long as I can postpone crafting the uh, super high attack weapon for Gilgamesh, I'm not going to. But sometime down the line, I'm going to do it. And if you don't have Cleo Star, you can obviously use Tifa. But other than that, you actually need Venera for this. You actually need Last Gen for this. And you have to have uh, Edgar for this. And of obviously Mastermind's on. So yeah. So you do have two spots you can do differently, Bards and Cleo Star, but the rest of it sadly is fixed if you want to cap, that is. All right, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, to the channel. I'm super happy and uh, yeah, the next two are going to be more painful. Uh, it's gonna take me a while, by the way, to, uh, to the next boss. I haven't prepared a team at all. So might take, a, take an hour or two. See you soon for uh, Dark Diablos.